Hello again. In this 10 minute session, we're going to show you how to use one of Excel's other efficiency tools. And this one is about quickly formatting your spreadsheet. If you've never used it, shame on you because it's been around since about 2002. It's this wonderful tool here called Format Painter. OK, if I just hover over the button and allow the screen tip to appear, you will notice that it says it's Format Painter and it, it explains what it will do and even tells you how to do it. But let me explain that to you. OK, let's get started with it because that's the only way to learn these things. Let's say we want to format this column here. OK, we'll apply some formatting. So I'll select it all first and we'll make it um, bold. We'll apply some borders. So I click the borders drop down list and I'll choose all borders. All borders puts a printable line around all those cells. We'll give it a nice background color as well. Choose pale yellow. That's quite a good one for this spreadsheet. So we'll now have um, bold, pale yellow and borders. Now let's say we want to make this group of cells match that. OK, so let's click on one of those cells and we'll choose to click Format Painter. Now when we do, what Excel will have done is we've taken all the formatting from that cell and it will have copied it into Excel. Now that allows you to then paint it elsewhere. Now the clue to it being on is if you look alongside the cursor, and I'll just zoom in now, you will notice that it's got a little paintbrush by it. That indicates that Format Painter is on and it's ready to paint wherever you click and drag. So let's, let's do that now. I want to click and hold on Monday and just drag down all the other days and quite literally all that formatting will be applied. There you go. They're bold, they've got a yellow background and they've got borders around them. OK, let's repeat that for the top row. So let's click us in a single cell. I'll just choose Wednesday arbitrarily. I'll click Format Painter and I'll now simply click and drag along the top row. There you go, all formatted. So I haven't had to click lots of buttons. It's a real time saver. OK, so you can take the formatting from one cell and paint it over any number of cells. OK, let's take this a bit further. OK, let's take this cell here. Now, we'd normally format this whole area in one go, but we're teaching you the tool right now. It's up to you to figure out where you can use it. OK, these are meant to be currency, so let's turn them in, into currency. Now, for most people, that might be a right click Format cells a bit long winded that to bring up this dialog box. Never use it. OK, you could bring up that dialog box more quickly simply by clicking that button there. That button there will bring up the dialog box. It's known as a dialog box launcher. Better still, though, built into Excel are the most popular number formattings already made for you. And they sit uh, above this group of number controls here in this little drop down list, which generally has the word generally. Click that and you'll notice there's a whole load of ready-made formatting, percentages, dates, times, etc. And there's a currency one. Now this will put a pound symbol in front of your number, give you two decimal plates automatically and also use a comma to separate the thousands. So there's no lots of setting up for you to do. All, all I've got to do is click that and that cell now has that look. Right, I'd like that all over all these cells here. So let's take Format Painter. While I'm on this cell, it's got the look I want. Click Format Painter. The little marching ants appear to indicate it's now switched on and the paintbrush appears alongside the cursor. Now, what I've got to do is drag across all the cells I want to apply the look to. There you have it. OK. So they're all nicely formatted as currency in the same. OK, let's let's do something a bit more. OK, but you'll notice every time I use the feature, it turns itself off. The paintbrush automatically disappears from alongside the cursor. Right, let's see what more we can do with it. I'm going to take row seven and I'm going to select it. OK, and I'm going to apply a little bit more formatting. So I'm going to put the borders around the whole of the row and I'm going to turn its background pale green. OK, and what I want to do with this is I want to make every other row in my spreadsheet pale green. You'll see this on a lot of spreadsheets. It's referred to as banded rows and it makes spreadsheets more readable. OK, you don't have to use it, but it's a, a useful feature. However, it would be a bit time consuming to individually select every other row and format them with green backgrounds and borders, green backgrounds and borders, green backgrounds and borders. So what we're going to do is while we've got all these cells highlighted, the correct number that we want, 
I'm going to click Format Painter. Now, what this has done slightly differently is that rather than take the formatting from a single cell, it's taken it from a whole group of cells, a set number of cells. Okay, and it's picked up each cell's individual formatting, its look. So if I go down to row 9 and click on A9, the start of that row, it reapplies the formatting to the same number of cells along that, that row. Okay, so the row 9 is now done. It looks just like row 7. However, the feature's turned itself off. And, and of course, we want to work our way down this spreadsheet. So what we've got to do is another little trick with this tool is when you want to use it more than once, don't single click the Format Painter button, double click it. I've just double clicked it. Format Painter is now turned on. You can see the paintbrush alongside the cursor. What I've got to do now is click on the start of each of these rows and you'll notice that the feature doesn't switch itself off. The paintbrush remains alongside the cursor and it will keep on going until I switch the feature off. Now this is quite important. If I forget to turn the feature off, you'll notice the paintbrush is still there. If I click anywhere, it'll apply that same set of formatting to the same number of cells. Not what I want to be doing necessarily. So once I've done with the tool, switch it off by clicking the button again. Now you only have to switch it off if you've double clicked it. Okay, I'll quickly remove that formatting. Okay, but as you can see there, that allowed me to very quickly band those rows. Most people will automatically be setting them individually, taking them forever if it's a very long spreadsheet. Okay. You could take a whole area of the spreadsheet like that. Pick up the formatting, and if I just scroll down and click, it'll apply the look to that same area. I'll just quickly undo that. Okay, let's do one more thing with it because this is clearly wonderful and you should be using it. Okay, let's say you need to repeat this spreadsheet every month. So what we can do is we can select the working area, even the whole spreadsheet if you like, by clicking that cell there or simply selecting the area you wish to use. And then click on Format Painter. Now it will have copied every individual cell's look. If I now go and open another worksheet ready for the next month, you'll notice Format Painter is still indicated alongside the cursor. Clicking in cell A1 then just applies the same look to the same set of cells. So if I was to type in A1, A title, you will notice it's the same font size and everything. If I was to type into that cell, It's a date. If I tab across to one of the currency cells and type into there a number, the moment I press enter, it's formatted as currency. And this will just go on. There were, they've got the look I want. And all I did was a couple of clicks. I copied that look onto there. Okay. If somebody breaks your formatting in a spreadsheet, use Format Painter to fix it. Yeah. It's easy enough to do. Don't fight the program. And this tool is available in Word and other programs. Look out for it. Okay. I use it in every program that it exists in because it's a major time saver and allows me to fix things and make things look consistent and importantly, do it quickly. Okay. I hope that's been useful. We'll see you again next time.